this is why I love Bishop Patrick Wooden. As a matter of fact, this is why even non-Christians who love their children should love Bishop Wooden. Bishop Wooden has decided to take back and to reclaim one, the rainbow, but then just a month. If somebody's going to have pride, it should obviously be us being proud, not of ourselves or who we are, but who we have. That is Jesus. This opportunity to speak, and I want to take the time to first wish everybody a happy Jesus Pride Month. For the month of June, we have designated this month uh, to Jesus Pride because we love the Lord and we believe in biblical principles, and uh, uh, and we're glad to wish you a Jesus Pride as you wish the rest of us a Pride, uh, Happy Pride Month. Now, I'm standing before you today as a grandfather. I got to have wonderful grandkids. As a grandfather myself, a slightly younger, probably less mature, probably a little bit more adorable looking grandfather than. Bishop Wooden is. Uh, I can certainly concur and I wholeheartedly am with him in recapturing this month. This should be bothersome to anyone with children. You can't even let children be children. I have one who is in the age group of this book when Aiden became a brother. And uh, when Aiden was born, everyone thought he was a girl. But once he came out as a trans boy, Aiden and his parents fixed the parts of his life that didn't fit anymore, and he settled happily into being himself. Aiden didn't feel like any kind of girl. He was really another kind of boy. Now, this book is for kids, five-year-olds, six-year-olds, so forth and so on, and um, this book is available in 31 elementary schools in our county. This is garbage. And whoever is responsible for this ought to be ashamed. And I want to say this. There is a judgment day coming. But there is evidence that the God of the Bible is passing judgment. When God passes judgment, you know what he does? He gives people over to vile affections vile thoughts, when they reject his truth and decide no matter what, they're going to believe what they want to believe anyway. You know what God says? He says, have at it. And it's evident that in many cases, I'm seeing judgment pass because there is no way anyone in their right mind can argue that the things that we're hearing today that's being placed in our high schools, elementary schools, middle schools for kids to hear and read and practice has anything to do with making them better, making America better, making our neighborhoods better? This is trash. And I pray that to the extent that you can, you will rise up against this. There ought to be something in us that will make us want to protect the hearts and minds and even the appetites of our children. And many of them have no sexual appetite at all until they read this. Why are we sexualizing our children? I'm as angry about this as I can be. And I pray that you will consider uh, our words and give our children a chance. They're not sex toys and they're not your kids. We want to leave raising the children to the parents. Thank you very much. And he's absolutely correct in what he's saying. He says that God is going to give them over. Notice what he says in Romans 1.26. He says, for this reason... God gave them over to a deranged, degrading, I'm sorry, passions for their women exchanged natural function uh, for that which is unnatural in the same way. Also, the men abandoned the natural function of the woman and burned in their desires toward one another. God is not happy. And so God will give you up over to that. And it's not as though that when he does that, he is just going to let you escape judgment. As a matter of fact, there is a promise from him, especially as it relates to children. He says, whoever causes one of these little ones who believe stu to stumble, it will be better for him if with a heavy millstone hung around his, his neck, he had been cast into the sea. It would have been better for you to just have that than whatever's going to end up happening. And so I thank God for someone like Bishop Wooden. I pray that more like him step out, that make their voices known, heard. This is a time where we can't let someone, one, co-op the rainbow, and we know what it means, and then also not give what we are proud of ourselves, which is Jesus. Amen.